Welcome to In Layman's Terms, the YouTube channel where I'm learning, I'm discovering and I'm sharing. The whole purpose of this YouTube channel is to essentially share my information, distill it down and keep it super simple. A year or so ago, I went on a journey to learn about televisions. I walked into a store, HDMI this, HDR that, 4K, 8K, IPS, VA, and I was just blown away. And I decided this was something I wanted to learn. This was something I wanted to share. And so now here we are in layman's terms. So I'm still on the hunt for my 2021 gaming TV. I, I own an OLED, I own a couple of full array local dimming TVs. And again, if you guys don't understand this, let me know in the comments. I want to create a video explaining and sharing. Um, I will distill things down quite simple. So some people may or may not like that, but I'm trying to make it very accessible for everyone. So right now what we're looking at is the uh, 2021 uh, Samsung QN85A. So this is their uh, entry level of the mini LED TVs. And coming from um, an OLED and a full array local dimming, I can tell you these TVs are getting very, very close. close. So if you look at the uh, what, we're, what we're seeing now, which is the 75 Q95T, this was Samsung's last year, last year's 2020 flagship panel. So it was a VA panel, and again, I will create other videos if people want them to, explaining what all this means. But this was their flagship last year. And honestly, comparing this to the mini LED range, it's night and day. I have never seen the TVs get so close to OLED. It's it's actually they've I feel like they've almost got it there um, now for those of you who don't really know about the difference between OLED and um, LED TVs or mini LED TVs um, again I can create specific videos but OLEDs can turn off each individual pixel each individual pinpoint where the LED TVs have a backlight where they have to turn off specific groups of lights to essentially make the picture dark or bright. And there are positives and negatives to both. LED TVs get a lot brighter than OLEDs, but if they're not done well, they can suffer from blooming and other, other shortcomings where OLED is really great for a dark room where there's controlled light because they don't get as bright, but because they can turn off entire pixels you get really deep blacks and it's super impressive but once again these mini led panels are getting so close i spent some time in jb hi-fi i've pre-ordered a few tvs i'm super excited so now for gamers out there you're noticing i'm putting hdmi 2.1 now don't let that fool you. Sometimes that means they might only have one HDMI 2.1 port. They might have four. They might have one HDMI 2.1 port that's not an eARC port. And again, happy to sp explain all of that for people who want to know a little bit more. So this is the 2020 Sony 65A8H, which was their uh, flagship OLED for last year. I previously owned the uh, A9G which was the uh, previous year's uh, OLED flagship and which it had great picture quality. But to be honest, I'm a peak brightness kind of guy and it was a little bit too dim for me. Now, again, until you line all these TVs up, until you have hands-on time with them and you, you, you explore content that you're familiar with, like movies or games, and you know what you're looking for, then and only then you can truly get a grasp of what what makes you happy, what what makes you smile, so to speak. So some people will swear by OLED, some people will swear by peak brightness and LED TVs. Now look look at this. When you walk into a store and you don't know what you're doing, it's HDR this or you know full array local this. What what does all that mean? How can the normal person walk in there? They just see these TVs that have all the colours and brightness juiced up and it's just insanely confusing. Now just to wrap this video up um, the way I'm, I'm hoping the community will support me is I do purchase these TVs outright. I do get a really killer price on a lot of these TVs. I can save two to three thousand dollars brand new. Um, all I want them for is a, is a week. I review them, happy to pass on receipts and everything like that. Happy for the per people if they want to support me by purchasing these TVs from me. I will pass on the full savings with receipt. Uh, I'm not looking to make any money, just looking to get started. Hopefully I can get some review TVs after a couple of videos. But guys, I do get really good prices on TVs. Um, I'm South Sydney based. 
if you're looking for a 2021 TV, regardless of what size, please feel free um, to hit me up. Um, I'll put my email address there and um, I'm looking to build this community. And just remember guys, let's keep things respectful. I know people can get really passionate about these things. It's iPhone versus Samsung and you know OLED versus uh, uh, full array local dimming LCD TVs. It's, uh, it's fun, let's have fun with it. And I hope I can grow the community. This is something I'm gonna continuously do. I have a bunch of TVs ready to open and uh, I really like to start sharing my knowledge and learning from other people. So guys, once again, I really appreciate anyone who's come here to support my first video. Uh, this video is a little bit spartan. I will improve the quality of the videos, but once again, thank you very much. And um, I hope to hear from everyone soon and um, I hope I get some encouragement to keep going with the content. Much appreciated.